Hello friends, today we're going adventuring. It occurred to me in the last episode that we have only found two of the wood types so far, and I'm gonna take some capture cells with us because I bet when we find the biomes that have these other wood types in them, we're also gonna find more cool animals to catch. Two for now, I can always make more later. I have my backpack filled up with extra wood and cobblestone and other stuff for this adventure. The crop field has been recently harvested, so I'm full up on potatoes and it feels and looks great. Ah, oh, so good. In between episodes, I've also done a couple other odds and ends, but nothing big. I flipped around the stairs on the edge of the railing there, reorganized some things inside the house. I gotta say the food chest is looking much better now. And that's about it really, let's go. It's surprising to me that we're in three episodes and we still haven't found much biome variety at all. It's mostly plains and meadows and then like little strips of flower forest. The only thing on the map that looks different is there's regular forest to the north of us here. This is our house. This is the crocodile pen we built last episode. Here is the village up on top of the hill. The livestock pen is right here into the north on the map, right on the very edge. Looks like snow biome. So I think that's where we should head first. Good news, it doesn't look like the crocodile has respawned. I'm happy for that. If I don't see another crocodile again in the wild for a while, I'll be very excited. I don't know if this river is gonna take us all the way there or not. Right now we're kinda heading to the east and we need to head a bit more north, I think. I'm also keeping an eye out for new animals in the water, but nothing so far. Oh, here we go, icebergs ahead. <gasps> more seals! Hold on, I gotta get out of F5. More seals, but these ones are a different color. Are these supposed to be um, leopard seals? Are those like cold biome variations of the regular seal that we have by our house? Hold on, I gotta see if these register as a different animal or not. Nope, just a different color. Oh my gosh. I love the sounds they make. They are so cute. Looks like we also have a ship over here. Gotta check that out. I'm gonna grab the boat. We haven't found any diamonds yet in this world and I would love if I could find some uh, loot, some chest loot with diamonds in it. I think that's kind of rare though in ships, isn't it? We'd have to get like the, the treasure chest map and that maybe will lead us to diamonds. If there even is a chest in here, I'm not convinced. The bottom is kind of missing from it. Okay, this chest is intact, but it's just stuff we already have, bummer. And the back cabin is completely missing. That's the only chest in this one. Oh my gosh, am I gonna die? Please don't. Ooh. It's fine, we're fine. I just take a moment to point out how reflective, <laughs> of course when I zoom in it doesn't, how reflective the ice is with the shaders and the sunset. That looks really nice. Here we go, I think this is the first time I found a ruined nether portal that actually has a chest with it. Bad, there's nothing really exciting here. I am gonna take that gold block though. I'll keep it in the backpack because if I die, the stuff in the backpack doesn't despawn after five minutes. The backpack should theoretically get placed on the closest block and be there for me when I come back. A low um, whale again, but a different whale? Killer whale? Orca? Orca whale, yeah! Hi buddy, are you gonna like bust my boat? I don't know if I should trust you or not. I love your jumping animation though. That was great. There it goes again. Oh, please don't die on land. That would be unfortunate. Let's um, read up about this guy. The orca is a large dolphin-like cetacean, maybe, found in the cold oceans of the overworld. Okay, cold water, got it. Launching attacks on native polar bear populations. Oh my goodness. Swimming with a pot of orcas can grant one the orcas might affect. That sounds awesome. We've done it though, folks. There are spruce trees here. The very first spruce trees of the game. Jeez, I can't believe it took us this long to find them. Just gonna harvest some wood and some saplings and then we'll get back to exploring. It's another grizzly bear. This one has a cub. I have a feeling that's gonna make mama more dangerous. I give them a wide berth. So far, other than bears, seals, and crows, I haven't found any other animals on the land out here in the snowy biomes, but I am hopeful. I know there are more animals that exist out here. 
We just gotta be a little patient and hopefully they'll turn up. Here we go, peeps, new animal. Snow leopards, aren't they beautiful? What do you think, do we need a snow leopard exhibit? I'm a little worried about there being two of them. Um, They're probably kind of aggressive, yeah? I would think snow leopards would be aggressive if you got close. I'm gonna check their entry from a safe distance. Big cats that can be found in snowy, mountainous areas. Not aggressive towards humans, okay. They do a leap attack and a claw attack. Oh, their claws act kind of like looting on a sword does, giving extra drops, that's cool. You can breed them with moose ribs, but they are not tameable. That makes them a good candidate for the zoo then, since they're not innately aggressive, hello? I'm guessing there's lava up there. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna grab them. They're both getting up. They're creeping along the floor. Is that like getting ready for pounce attack with the butt up in the air like that? Oh my goodness, it's so cute. You better watch out, raccoon. And sneak up from behind. A boop! <laughs> so I was thinking about the crocodiles. I'm not sure if I'm gonna capture another one for the crocodile enclosure because, oh my goodness. <laughs> are they, are they playing? Are they fighting? I don't know. Anyway, I'm not gonna be getting another crocodile for the exhibit because the crocodiles are so much bigger than I expected and I feel like they're um, probably okay on their own. I mean, you see crocodiles multiples in one area, but they're not like a, a pack or a group animal per se. But I might grab a second snow leopard since they seem to enjoy each other's company? Question mark? Unless this is some weird mating ritual? I, I don't know how those nature programs would uh, document this. I captured one and the other one is still going crazy. Maybe there's an animal that is trying to pounce on underground or something. I don't know. It doesn't feel right being all up in their faces. It, it seems like they would probably, like in real life, they would definitely not be happy if you did that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give them some space and some respect. And uh, we are going to watch this orca kill a seal right in front of our faces. That was a good shot. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, I love this mod. I love the way everything interacts with each other. That's great. Oh, what do we have here? Um, What do we have here? It looks like a boar, right? I have a feeling that this is one of those not real animals, like one of those fantasy animals that's included with the pack. It's probably aggressive then knowing how Alex's mobs work. I just have a feeling this is not going to be a friendly critter. The model looks amazing though. It's uh, digging in the snow with its head and its big old tusks. Tusklin, long lost ancestor of the nethers Hoglin. Okay, cool. Hostile to intruders. I am not surprised. Although hostile, it can be saddled and ridden for a short time before the creature bucks off its passenger. That sounds quite dangerous. The book is making it sound like if you got one of these to the nether, maybe the piglins would ride them and that's pretty cool. You can put shoes on them, apparently. I guess we'll have to look out for that in the future. Oh, I've lost sight of it and that is a bit concerning, not gonna lie. Sunset over the snow plains, Butamus. Exiting the snowy plains and coming up on some regular taiga now. Let's go take a peek and see what's in here. May as well grab some berry bushes. Might be able to use these for decoration at some point. Found a nice little river to coast down. This actually reminds me of the long play video I put out two weeks ago. There's a lot of river action in that one too. If you guys like long plays and you haven't checked it out, you totally should. Oh, what's this? Another wood missing from our repertoire. It looks like we have dark oak forest coming up here. Whew, oh my goodness, it's just seals. <laughs> you guys scared me, jeez. <gasps> Azalea, that means we have a lush cave below too. I also haven't found one of those yet. Mm, do we go down and try to find the lush cave after collecting some of this dark oak? I think maybe we do. I'm going to grab these flowering leaves too while I'm at it. Another thing I'd like to point out with Quark is azalea wood has its own color. And I gotta say, I really like that. It's um, it's like a light green color. It's quite beautiful. There's some seals out there playing in the water. <laughs> and some fish too that are jumping, jumping fish. Um, flying fish. Pretty sure those are flying fish. 
And we should just be able to follow this rooted dirt down, and it'll take us to a lush cave. It could be very far down, though, depending. And the rooted dirt is actually one more texture to collect, so might as well grab a bunch of this, too. Don't mind if I do. Oh, here we go, finally. We're at deep slate level. We're pretty far down in the world. Let's not jump straight down, huh? This is why you always dig a one by two, because that side would have dropped me right into the lava. This side looks safe, though. Oh, this is cool. Diamonds! First diamonds of the series. Let's go. I wasn't planning on today being a diamond hunting session, but here we are. Gib. Yum. Tasty blue rocks. Now time to collect all of the pretty decorating blocks. I think once we have some moss, we can get more of it, right? I can't... I can't remember exactly how this works. Did they drop down there? I don't think they did. Is it the berries? Okay, you gotta, like, right-click to collect the berries. Four diamonds! I may be slightly worried about being this deep down in the world. I'm worried about the Alex's mobs, critters that spawn in the deep places that are not friendly. It's like a trail of breadcrumbs, though. I cannot refuse the diamonds. Take all the azalea bushes, too. Small drip leaf. These you definitely need the shears for, as I recall. Oh, Skelly! Um, I don't have a bow. Maybe I should put this on. Now look what you did, you dummy. Ah! Luckily, we didn't panic. Axolotl <gasps> needs. I think I have a. I do have a bucket. I just need to remember. <laughs> I just need to remember not to use it for MLG moves now. Cause I, I put my axolotl friend at risk. Oh my goodness. Um. Hello. Jeez. Ah! Oh my gosh. Almost dead. Almost dead. Almost dead. Almost dead. What are those things? I need to eat. Ooh, jeez. What is that noise? The flapping noise. That thing. That's making the flapping noise. It definitely looks like it belongs in the lush caves. It's quite cute. I don't know if it's friendly or not. Hi, cutie. Can I hit you with the book? Figure out what you are. You're making adorable noises. My inventory is an absolute disaster right now. A boop! Flutter! Small plantoid creatures found in lush caves. Completely passive! Curious interest in any flower, and you can tame them by giving them four to six flowers. Jeez, I wish I had flowers on me. They have a ranged attack! That is so cool! You can give them a flower pot for armor! I need one of these. Like, I need this. I think I can probably make another capture cage quick and put one in the capture cage and tame it when we get home. Hey, buddy! You're gonna be my friend later, I promise! Basic capture cell flutter! You know, I didn't actually look if you can breed them, and if so, I should probably try to find a second one. But considering I almost died already, I'm uh, wondering if it isn't time to head back. Especially uh, considering my inventory situation. <gasps> that that was not my smartest move, I must admit. Jeez, right into it. <laughs> the lava I almost fell in on the way down. Um, my water bucket has an axolotl. Um... I'm sorry, little guy, but I need to not die. Pick up the axolotl, too. Ooh, ooh, safe. Jeez. Thank you, friend. You saved my life. On ran, your inventory is full and you keep almost dying. It's time to go. But there are still cool things to collect and I cannot get these easily any other place. And I really want them to decorate with. I promise I am working on getting out, but I just... I need a moment. For you all to marvel over how glorious lush caves look with shaders. <gasps> it's another flying critter. That's what's making the weird noise. One more so I can have a breeding pair. Jeez, it's dark in here. Hi, friend. Boop. A boop and a boop. Wait, I think this is an amethyst over here. It is. I need that too. Dang it. <laughs> I'm just trying to leave. <laughs> Ah, oh, the noise amethyst makes when you break it. So satisfying. Hello? Is that what the crystals look like with the shaders? Jeez, I thought it was a new monster or something. That's pretty. Calcite's pretty too. 
Ace, just look at this thing coming up from the lush cave. Lovely. Except for where I tore it apart. I think shears aren't good enough for the crystals and you actually need silk touch on something. Yeah, indeed. Don't have silk touch yet. We're not gonna be able to collect all of this. I'm running out of time, but I mean, we've got two stacks of the amethyst. We've got a stack of the calcite and I can always come back and get more of this later. And maybe next time I come back, I'll have silk touch so we can actually pick up the crystals. Now, just the long dig back up to the surface. Oh, oh my god, what the heck? Oh no, I lived down through the caves! Don't let me die down! 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 What the heck was that? Is it safe to go back to the water? Oh my goodness! <laughs> that was a um, giant skeletal fish with a trident drowned riding on it. I just want my pretty leaves, man! This is where we came up, by the way, right along the shore here. Oh my goodness. Take it! Dude, um, you should probably get back to the water. You need some help. Come on. No, no, that way. That way, there you go. There's the inventory. Right, that's enough adventure for today. I think I'm ready to go home now. Hello, everybody, I'm back. Nobody has eaten each other, right? Looking at you, Mr. Brown Sheep, I don't trust you. Just to be on the safe side, we're gonna throw this little guy a, <laughs> a snack and he's eating it. That looks super adorable. And that is gonna be it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you soon in the next one. Bye for now. Don't do it, Mr. Sheep. I know you're hungry.